Hi guys, my name is Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions and today we are going to be talking to you about Unify's new Wi-Fi 6 access point. This is the uh, Light 6. Um, it's been available for, for a little bit of time in the US but it hasn't been available for very long at all in, the, in Europe or the UK. Um, we had to buy this through Ubiquiti's European store. Um, we couldn't get it through our suppliers and I checked this morning I still can't get it through our suppliers or any UK suppliers by the looks of it. It has to be bought from the Ubiquiti store. Um, so a little bit exciting. I, I suspect that even some people working in my industry aren't aware that you're able to get this from the Ubiquiti store yet. I came across it by chance. Um, we don't actually use the Ubiquiti store that often. I just like to browse through and see what new products are available. Um, and what I noticed was uh, that this was available in the store. Um, it was out of stock the first time I checked, but I got a, a put in a notification email to get the um, to get notified when the stock came back in. And within sort of two days, it was back in, so we ordered one straight away. It took about three days to get it, which is a real pain about the Ubiquiti uh, store. It's it's kind of Christmas time, so uh, a bit of bit of us understanding there but yeah still took a little while to get it but we finally got it um I've, this this is literally i mean it's not even opened i've not even looked at it yet um i just want to share it sort of with you guys while we're uh you know the first sort of look at it um what i'm going to do in this video just to make it sort of a little bit more interesting is we're going to compare it to a uh, ac light so they're both kind of introductory line ranges obviously both called light or both have light in their title um obviously there's going to be a lot more wi-fi 6 products You've unified a little bit behind on this actually. There's a lot of a lot of the other manufacturers have quite a few Wi-Fi 6 products already. So this this is kind of it's it's taken a little while to get to this place. But it is it is quite exciting because it's something that clients are very aware of is Wi-Fi 6. They've made it very um in calling it Wi-Fi 6, they've made it very accessible and it means that people know about it and they're interested. So they'll often ask, are these Wi-Fi 6 access points? And then of course if you're installing Unify uh, up to this point, the answer is no, they are not. And not only are they not, there's some not far away sort of on the horizon. So sometimes people want to wait for these points and they're finally out. So it's pretty exciting. So I'll just talk about this, uh, what the difference is really in, in compared to the light. Um, let's talk about price first of all. So this cost us about £95, uh, which is around $130 um, uh, in comparison to the AC light, which costs about £69, so that's about $95. Um, so a little bit of a price difference. But the other thing to note is that you notice that the boxes are quite a lot smaller for the AC, uh, for the light 6. And the reason partly for that, I think the access point, is, I've not even seen it, so I don't actually know, but I think the access point is slightly smaller. But the other thing is that there's no PoE injector included. With it. So although this is, there's only sort of £30 worth of difference, You've also got the, obviously the uh, PO injector as well. So if you are using this with a PO injector, then you need to have, you need to add that additional cost on. PO injectors are normally about fifteen pounds. Um, and let's go straight on to some of that changes actually. So one of the changes is um, you're basically trying to move away from twenty four volt passive PO, um, and that's reflected in this in this access point. This is a this takes AF, um, but it also takes forty eight volt passive, which is a little bit a um, little bit unusual actually. Um, so I would just tend to just use this with AF. Um, if you're going to buy a PO injector, just just buy an AF PO injector. You can use this um, just to understand what AF PO is. It's basically the, the pretty normal standard PO. Um, for example, the US uh, six, uh, sixty watt USA sixty watt switch. Uh, would be perfect for this. We often actually would go straight away from uh, Ubiquiti on this as well, or Unify's range. We use the TP Link's little five port switches like this, uh, PoE switches unmanaged, um, perfect AF. Um, again, you can power them, uh, power the lights with that. So, not a huge change in the PoE, um, but if you are changing out a light uh, for a light six and you're using a PoE injector that came with the light, then you'll have to change that PoE injector as well to a 48 volt uh, or an AF. An injector. So, what other features have we got? So, let's just talk about. I'm just going to make a quick, really quick comparison to the AC Pro as well because we are talking about throughput. So, this is a two time. These are both two times two mi mo. Um, so, uh, so not as much as as like an AC Pro. Um, however, because this is Wi-Fi six, the throughput is actually fairly close to um, a Wi-Fi six on the five gigahertz. So, it's three hundred megs on the both of these 300 megs on the um, 2.4, but the 5 gigahertz, this goes up to 1200 
megabits per second, and that is because of the Wi-Fi 6. Um, and that's pretty close to a to an AC Pro. So an AC Pro is doing uh, 1300. So so it's not far away. So although this is the light, it's still actually got a really good throughput on me on the five gigahertz. Um, what other RAM? Sorry, I've got my bit of paper here, so I'm just looking at some of the some of the sh facts difference on the. There's some really random stuff. So, uh, yeah, really weird that this is this is able, and I just noticed this just looking at the stats. That this is able to operate in colder but not as hot temperatures than the light. I mean, if anyone's working at minus twenty degrees, then you can put in the Wi-Fi six, and if it's going to get really hot, then put in the the light. But I mean, <laughs> I don't know how often that's coming up. Um, I didn't see anywhere that this is external use, and I don't believe it is. Um, so yeah, just just for internal use. The other thing is that you can use up to this has up to eight BSSIDs as opposed to four BSSIDs on the light. So a bit of a difference there as well, double the amount. Right, and the final point to note, and this is quite important because uh, when you're planning your PoE budget, so if you're going to deploy loads of these wi-fi uh sorry these light sixes you've got to think about your poe budget the poe uh maximum budget for these is is almost twice what the light is so the light is 6.5 watts this is 12 watts so um yeah you need to think about that if you're gonna if you're gonna be uh using a switch and power on lots of devices fortunately it's still actually quite low so for example this uh, little tp link is uh 56 watts obviously the us 860 is 60 watts um so if this well, this has got four ports poe so even with four ports uh four of these about this switch will still be absolutely fine um so not a massive issue but still something to consider there is more power being used by this than the ac light so that is um that's about it really that i wanted to talk about on um uh, on this i'm not going to go too technical into the specs but what i am going to do next is just get them out and have a look at them and i've literally not done this so this is quite exciting and um, i've seen a couple of videos so it'd be interesting to see what they look like oh one thing to say that these uh these wi-fi or light sixes will fit the nano hd uh covers so that's obviously gives you a pretty good indication of how big they're going to be which is slightly smaller than the ac light so right so that's it so that's it it's come out of the box my first impression is it's very shiny I think it's because it's got this cover over it, so it off. Yeah, there we go. Right, so it's got it comes with the cover. It looks slightly more expensive actually, and it feels it feels heavier than the light. Certainly, might more sturdy, a lot more like the Nano HD than than the AC light. The like, AC light feels like a cheaper model, and um, just the way it is. I'm just going to take the light out just to just to make the comparison. So we're going to look at the size. So yeah, that immediately I noticed that this one, the light is, it feels lighter, like that really does feel lighter. It doesn't feel as well made, it feels a bit cheaper um, than, the, than this Light 6. Um, definitely weight difference. I suppose it's a little bit like a watch, you know, if you get a heavy watch, you know, it's probably going to be a good quality. It's, uh, it's similar to that. It just feels like it's better made. In fact, the material feels slightly different as well, but I think that's just in my mind. Um, you will notice as well that the uh, Unify obviously want to make a distinction between uh, their Wi-Fi 6 products and their normal products, or their Wi-Fi 5 as we're now calling them. So if I just show you this, you can see on the front that that says uh, Wi-Fi 6 on the front there. So they're, they're, they're little, sorry, it says Unify 6. So they're making it, it's not Wi-Fi 6, it's their own, their own brand of Wi-Fi 6. Um, so that's the difference there. Other than that, actually, they look almost identical, like there's not really uh, much difference there, not much of a size difference. Um, Exactly the same way. Actually, maybe a little bit fatter. Mm, not much in it. But uh, and the brackets are identical. So if you are swapping out lights for uh, for light sixes, that should be really simple. Should just be a matter of swapping it over. Um, no change on the port uh, capacity. It's obviously gigabit, gigabit. Um, nothing else to note really on that box. It comes with the normal fixings. It's got the uh, it's got the brackets. Um, so that's that's uh, pretty much um, the case there. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to power these um, power these up, um, have a look at them, and we're going to see what sort of throughput we get on them. Um, see if it makes any difference at all. Um, just so you know, I'm operating a Virgin uh, 350 meg connection here, so 
which isn't always 350 megs, but it should be should be pretty close to that. And what we'll do is we're just going to do a really simple crude test with a phone. We're just going to see which one is faster, whether it's going to be the the uh, Light 6 or the Unified Light. So we'll come back to that in a moment. Um, see how we go. Alright guys, so I've got both of those access points adopted onto the system now, so the next stage is going to be uh, checking to see um, what difference in speed is, what, what, you know, what, uh, how good the experience is that I'm going to use the laptop. Um, nothing really to note on the adoption, they both adopted at similar speeds, they both required firmware updates, um, and yeah, pretty, pretty simple. The only thing I noticed is that on the, um, on the Light 6, is that the uh, access point is called U6 hyphen light 1700 colon 1700 so they're putting throughput on on the access point so this is obviously something they're really trying to push I imagine because they're trying to get people to understand what the difference between the light and the light six is and they're doing that through the total throughput so remember that's the total throughput not the experience of one individual client it's the total throughput okay so what I'm going to do it's actually really lucky that they've got that light six on it and that this is a bit heavier it would be really hard to distinguish between which one was which so what i'm going to do is i'm going to unplug the light six to start with um i'm going to make sure that i'm connected to that to the light and then we're going to do a quick speed test what i'll do is i'll grab you and show you the speed test in a moment i'll turn my screen around so you can see what i'm looking at let me just make sure i'm connected to it all right so in fact i'm going to double check I've, I've disconnected everything in the house so that i haven't got anything else on on here yeah so i'm on here i'm on connected to this light now so let's um let's have a look at this we're going to do this together Ooh, so let's do this together just get rid of all this other stuff uh, and hopefully you can see that let's have a look and we'll press the little go button okay what are we gonna get oh that's a pretty impressive speed so virgin look like they're actually doing a fairly good job today um bit of fluctuation but overall that's doing pretty well that's a pretty pretty quick connection I'm not as interested in the upload at this speed at this point because it's much slower. Um, but it'll be, it'll be interesting to see if it's if it's quite similar. That's pretty consistent actually. Much more consistent than the download. Okay, great. So uh, hopefully that gives you an indication. And now what we're going to do is we're going to swap them over and uh, and see how the other one performs. So I'll just give it a support because you don't want to wait for all that. All right, so that's back on now. Um, I just I just want to go over this again, just the weight of the um, the weight difference and the sort of quality feel. We we sometimes give these to clients just to just to have a look at, you know, if we're talking through a, a potential installation. Um, and these these lights just feel a bit cheap. They feel like really, you know, like there's not much to them. But whereas this one just feels like a quality product. It just feels really nice. Um, and I do think that's going to make a difference. I'll just I'll just do. Um, okay, so what we'll do now is we'll make sure that we're connected to this one. And we will do the test again and see if it's any difference. Obviously, this is a pretty crude test, right? We're not, there's no, nothing scientific about this, but we'll give it a go and see, see how it goes. Okay. So let's just make sure I'm connected. Uh, I don't think I currently am actually. Let's just disconnect that and get it back on again. I forgot, I've got, I've disconnected all but one of my access points in the house. So I think it went all the way up. So, right, okay, so this one is, Connected now, so I'll make sure you can see that. Oh, a big glare there, isn't it? Right, let's, there you go. Okay, so if we do this again, if I can find my mouse. Okay, so here we go. Oh, that's terrible. I don't know what's happened there. It's actually worse. Can't be connected to this one, surely. We're going to try this again, I think. I think there's a problem now. Let me just check. I might be on the 2.4 on the other access point. Let me just change that. 
we'll give it a fair test. Right, I'll just check on the controller of which one I'm actually connected to, and then we'll, yeah, I'm not connected to that one. Okay, let me just. It's interesting. Maybe it wasn't ready. Okay, so we'll connect again. This is how you know it's real when we're making mistakes like this, right? Okay, so that's showing its full signal now. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm pretty confident that is working there. Okay, let's try this again. Next. Right, okay, so that's going up a bit now. There we go. Shooting up. Uh, we got on there, so that is pretty quick. Okay, this is very consistent. The upload is incredibly consistent. There you go. Okay. Right, well, there you have it. So guys, obviously there was a significant difference between the speeds on this. There was like a 60 meg difference between the between the speeds on that, um, which is pretty impressive. I'm 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 quite surprised. I didn't think it would be that dramatic, um, but yeah, that is that's pretty impressive. So obviously a significant improvement. That's light. Light's a big favourite of mine. We do a lot of domestic installments, um, and I really don't think most of the time you need to go any bigger than a light. But um, but I would certainly put this in over the light now. I think I don't know Ubiquiti's plans, I don't know what they're going to do, but I suspect that this will be phased out um, and that the Light 6 will, will take over. And I certainly um, I think that we will really be pushing these Light 6s because um, why, why wouldn't you? You've got a better product, it's not that much more expensive. Um, and ultimately, this is going to be this is going to be the sort of um, the new standard. So definitely recommend it. Um, won't keep going on about how impressed I am with the build quality, but I do feel like it's a really good product, um, and I would I would recommend it. So if you are able to get hold of one, from remember you just have to go to the Ubiquiti store at the moment, which I think is deliberate ploy by Ubiquiti to make you use their store. Um, but assume it's going to be out with the other suppliers fairly soon, um, which is great. So yeah, all right, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, kind of please like it, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're going to be doing plenty more stuff like this. So uh, thanks very much for watching. Thanks. Bye.